Okay, I'd like to talk to you today about some of the issues you've got with gatherings. And by that I mean getting all your people together. Now one of the obvious ways that this happens is in an evacuation or in a fire drill. Now I mentioned several times that this can be an issue and um, particularly looking from counter-terrorism and those sorts of perspectives, you need to understand that putting all your people together is not the best policy. Now over several years uh, since way back from the Munich plane crash uh, which affected Manchester United, gradually people have come to the you know, understanding that putting everybody together on one flight and flying them off to a conference isn't the best way. Um, you, know, you don't want all your directors, for instance, all on one plane and then they disappear off and there's an incident with the plane and you, know, you lose your whole board in one go. Now, just think of what happens in a building evacuation. So if you're in head office, uh, it could be a fire drill, it could be any kind of incident that means facilities or whoever runs your uh, buildings says, okay, we're gonna evacuate the building. Now, this should be an opportunity to understand to disperse. You should have the processes and procedures in place that your staff can disperse away from any incident or any scene that's going on. Obviously maintaining their safety and security, but understanding that you do not want groups of people. Now, if you think, if it's a head office and the whole office evacuates and they all meet by you know, the bus stop down the road, then you are basically putting all your support staff, all your HR, all your facilities, all your directors, all your managers, all your sales team, all together in one place. Now it's not hard to force a building evacuation. If I had evil intent and wanted to attack um, a head office, then if I could get all of those people to evacuate and stand in one place, that is a huge risk. You only have to think of recent terrorist incidents where vehicles have been used as a form of you know, mass murder to understand that that just doesn't make sense. As people evacuate the building, they should be dispersing. You need ways and processes to manage that. It could be that everyone phones in every hour after that. It could be a mass text message. It could be any kind of system that you've got in place to support that function. But you do not want all your staff and all your senior people, all your support staff, all stood together in one location in a situation that has been forced upon them. It's like gathering everyone in your organisation at head office, putting them on one plane and sending them off. Not only that, it's like saying that when you know there's a problem at the airport because you've all pushed out the building, you've all gathered because of an incident. And now you're saying, well, we're all gonna gather and we're all gonna stand together and it'll be fine. 99.9% .9 of the time, it will be fine. That's not a problem. That's great, that's the world we live in. But that small percentage of risk you're taking is a huge business risk. Make sure you have a process and a system to disperse people as they come out of the building. You want as few people gathering as possible. And the more widely dispersed they are, the better for your organisation in the long term. If everyone goes home, some go by train, some go by bus, some walk, some, you know, by taxi, that may cause you half a day loss of business, but it's highly unlikely in today's world where we've got so much access by computer and by phone and all the rest of it. The risk of gathering everyone together is absolutely huge not just on the personal side of what could possibly happen to those individuals, but it, you could literally take out your head office in one go. And it just doesn't make business sense to do that. 